So I reviewed a lot of proposals, right? When I was at the World Bank and the European Commission, maybe thousands of proposals. I always see the same pattern. I always see companies trying to check boxes in regards uh, of the terms of reference. It's always about done, 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 one point after the other one. I found that exercise very frustrating. I think first it should be very frustrating for you as a company to prepare that, but it's also extremely frustrating as um, a staff member, an evaluation committee member to review those type of proposals. If you keep doing just the minimum as per the requirements, that's not gonna be something very uh, compelling as a proposal. I really believe in fine tuning the jargon, uh, the intelligence and the message around the needs and the ecosystem of the iFi, but also the division within the iFi, the subdivision and the task team leader, the operation leader of the iFi. That really makes a difference. This is where you show that you go beyond that. So there are various ways of doing it. Some of course is with like better writing uh, as an economist, as an expert uh, or former World Bank staff, etc. But also with some artificial intelligence uh, supported algorithm and mechanism where you can data mine and craft the best proposal that really is a sort of like matching language and matching approach so that you put yourself in the shoes of the person who is behind the project. And that's a huge difference, right? And then you're not only ticking boxes for terms of uh, reference, you go beyond and you show that you understand the brain and the intel that is behind. So that's a huge difference and that's what makes the difference.